Now in this previous video we had a discussion about the paper 2 of UGC student examination. Now in this video we will be discussing about the paper 3 of this UGC student examination. Now there are sub changes in few subjects about the number of percentage, uh, there is a percentage of marks that is coming from those subjects as well as there are a few more subjects that is added, a few more means that the artificial intelligence and computer graphics is added. About this we have HTML and XML that is web technology and ICT information coding theory that is also added in this course. Now let us analyze this and let us try to see what are the changes in terms of paper 2 and paper 3. As you can see there are some subjects which are there in paper 2 as well as there are also in paper 3. Like this subject digital logic algorithms all the subjects which are written in the blue color they, they are in paper 2 as well as they are also in paper 3. The only thing that is a difference is the percentage of marks or percentage that they, these subjects are contributing. Now in paper 2 of UGC net examination this digital logic subject was of 6%. So here in paper 2 it was of 6%, now it changed to 2.6%. Then we have algorithms and programming, algorithm programming data structures, it was of 15.66%, 15.66%, it is now changed to 10.22%. Then we have theory of computation. Theory of computation changed from 2.33% to 8%. That means the number of questions that is from theory of computation is more in terms of paper 3. And uh, the number of questions from algorithm programming and data structures that is less in paper 3. Then we have the next subject which is operating system. Now the previous case operating system was contributing 9.67 marks. Now this is 9.67 percentage, now it is contributing 7.33 percentage. Now remember one more thing that in case of this examination we have total 75 questions. In paper 2 of UGC net examination we were having 40 questions, now paper 3 we will be having 75 questions. So obviously the number of questions are going to increase. Then we have computer architecture, it, is, it was of 2.33 marks which now increased to 6.22 marks and then we have Artificial intelligence. Now, this artificial intelligence subject was not there in paper two. It is not there in paper three. Now, in this case, artificial intelligence is a new subject which is contributing 5.78 marks, which was not there previously. A part of this BBMS subject was contributing 10.66 marks, 10.67 percent marks, which is now decreased to 7.33 percent. Then we have computer networks, which was previously contributing approximately 11 percent of marks. Now, there is not much change in computer networks, but computer networks again itself is a very very important subject. Then we have discrete mathematics. Discrete mathematics initially was of uh, 11.66 marks, 11.67 marks which is now decreased to 3.11 percent. Then we have data mining. As you can see there is very less question asked from data mining and previously from last two years they are not asking any questions. So you can ignore this subject if you like. So that is your personal choice. You can ignore this subject if you like. That is data mining. Then we have software engineering. So initially it was contributing 9.66 or 9.67 percent marks, which is now decreased to 8 percent. But again, there is not huge difference. So again, software engineering is again one of the important subjects for instant examination. So we have a common analysis for paper two and paper three, and we'll see what are the subjects which are important. What are the subjects that are not, I mean that are having less percentage. Now we have Unix, Unix is, was initially 1.67 percent which is now decreased to 4.44 percent. Then we have OOPS and C++ which was initially 5.33 percent. Now it has increased from 5.33 to 9.55 that means again here OOPS, C++ and other programming languages. So we have seen in the previous questions and in previous papers that they are not only asking questions from OOPS, C++, they are asking questions from Java and as well as Fortran or other languages like this. So here this is actually, it is not just about the OOPS or C++ languages, this portion is mostly about the programming methodology. So you can learn about more uh, as a programming methodology, there is a book for this that you can buy. Now here linear algebra is 2.22% which was initially 5.33% and then we have the subject which is computer graphics and image processing. So computer graphics and image processing was not in paper 2, it is now only in paper 3. So this subject is of 12.44% marks. A part of this we had a few more questions from HTML and XML which I have not written here because of less space here. So which uh, always exactly one question is from HTML and XML. 
So HTML and XML contributes as 1.77% marks in paper 3. So this is the total cutoff for paper 3 and now we have a clear idea about paper 2 and paper 3 that you can see that uh, there are some subjects which are uh, more in paper 2 and now which, is, which are less in paper 3. So this is the analysis for paper 3. Now let us take a combined analysis of paper 2 as well as paper 3 and we will try to see what are the subjects which are most important that you can focus and in paper 3 there are two subjects which are exactly there which is not, which is not in paper 2 that is artificial intelligence, uh, computer graphics and image processing otherwise all the other subjects are both in paper 2 as well as in paper 3. Okay, Let us look at uh, uh, these subjects in more details now. Now we have seen a paper analysis of paper 2 and paper 3 of UGC net examination. Now from this paper 2 and paper 3 analysis I have just uh, com compiled all this analysis in just one this, this one video and in this video uh, I am showing that in paper 2 we have 50 questions and paper 3 we have 75 questions. Out of those 50 questions this is showing what is the uh, priority or you can say what is the percentage of marks that you are or percentage of questions that you are going to get from these subjects. Remember, I am just covering this subject on the basis of what is the percentage of uh, questions that you are going to get. I am not comparing them on the basis of percentage of marks. I could have done that about on the percentage of marks, but it, I found it more comfortable to discuss on the basis uh, on discussing on the basis of percentage of questions here. So later on, if it is required, if you uh, say it is important, then I can also compare the same kind of analysis on the basis of percentage of questions that comes in these examinations. Okay. Now you can see here that for digital logic uh, it was of 6 percentage paper 2 but it is of 2.6 percentage paper 3 and which is approximately of 4 percent. Now I am giving more priority to the questions uh, to the uh, subjects which are uh, basically having percentage which is greater than 6 percent. Okay. Now which is when I am saying this overall percentage overall means it is out of 125 questions what is the percentage of questions that you are going to see from a certain subjects. Okay. Now you can see here for algorithm data structures is again very very important subject because out of 125 you are going to see 12.4 percent questions from algorithm and data structure subject and this programming data structures and algorithm these are the package of three subjects which, which uh, you always you are always going to read this subject together. So these subjects are very very important. Again theory of computation uh, there are 8 percent uh, questions which are in paper 3 of UGC net examination which again can considers as very very important. So we cannot leave theory of computation because it is there in paper 3. Now operating system is again very very important subject because it is very similar uh, in paper 2 and paper 3. So in case of op operating system we are going to see it as 8.27 percent which is very very important. Now remember here this overall percentage is not dependent on this percent. I have not taken an average of these two things. Okay. Remember this, I have, I have not taken the average of 9.6 and 7.33. I have uh, used a different measurement here. Okay. Now you can see for database management system it is again very very important subject because it is 10.67 percent here but overall it is 8.6 percent which is again a very very important subject. Computer networks is one of the very very important subject here and discrete mathematics is also very very important because it is there in paper 2. Uh, it is of 11.67 percent marks and then we have software engineering is also very very important there is no much difference in paper 2 and paper 3. Okay. For OOPS C++ Java so this is there in uh, mostly this is in paper 3 and then we have the next important subject is image processing and these subjects. So there are, so there are you can see you, there are few subjects which you need not prepare like subjects like HTML, ICT and web technology you do not have to prepare for this subject. Now for paper 3 you are not going to expect any questions from data mining and for from Unix you are not going to expect lot of questions in paper 2. Okay. And for linear programming again uh, this portion is actually very very large the syllabus is very lengthy and it helps in uh, operational research topic also. But again you can see what are the subjects which are most important. So if you want to see what is the minimum number of subjects that we have to study then I have marked all these subjects here that these are the subjects which you can never afford to leave. Okay. Now this is for the, those students who have enrolled for the courses that we are providing for UGC net examination. All the syllabus of this UGC net examination that will be finished within the month of September and this complete analysis is done uh, to uh, give you a brief idea I mean how much topics that you have already covered there are some topics that are left maybe uh, the topics which is uh, software engineering is left image processing left everything is finished within the month of September and we are going to get each and every course very thoroughly. Okay. 
So I hope that uh, this analysis is helpful for all of, for all of you. We have finished most of the subjects and we are going to finish all the subjects within the month of September, maybe uh, by 20 or 20, 25th of September. And um, this everything will be uh, given to you and a part of this we are also going to add uh, we are also adding actually not going to add we are also adding on an everyday basis around 40 to 50 uh, questions which are actually solution the previous year uh, uh, examinations. What we have done is we have taken the last 50 year uh, question papers and then we are giving solution of each and every question of UGCNET papers okay which is again going to help you in, you know, in your preparation okay. I hope this is helpful all the best for your preparation and if you have any doubts or queries you can always email me with, with the given email id if you want to enroll for our courses you can uh, just uh, send us an email with the given email id or you can just contact on contact us on the contact number that is provided with this video okay and if you want to enroll for the test series then just go to our website which is ugcentlectures.com or gatelectures.com and from their website you can directly buy the test series package okay all the best for your preparation